So, for the past few years, ZBrush has become the gold standard when it comes to sculpting. Once rivaled by the amazing tool by the folks at Autodesk called Modbox, which for a very long time now has little to no development update. And with ZBrush championing how sculpting gets to be done, tools like 3D Coats and Blender are seeking ways to replace the spot where Modbox left. And for a very long time now, artists and content creators have been wondering when ZBrush would move over to iPad. Actually, lots of creators have shown ways to bring ZBrush to iPad by simply using various tools and also showing some hack guides to this. Then sometime in 2021, folks at Pixelogic announced that they were joining Maxon. Of course, this had mixed reactions across the board, as long-time users of ZBrush were more comfortable with Pixelogic just being Pixelogic than being in the hands of Maxon. And Maxon, owners of Cinema 4D, Redshift, the Red Giant set of suite, and Forger had their own plans upon purchasing Pixelogic. Let's, let's, let me tell you something, let me tell you something. All right. Let me tell you something, let me tell you something. And fast forward to 2023, we did see an update come over to Forger, which is Maxon's iPad sculpting app. And one of the significant updates that got a lot of people talking is that Forger now brings the popular Z Remesher to mobile sculpting experience, offering the full features of ZBrush Remesher to Forger artists. That was definitely interesting to see. And today, we are seeing that this is coming full circle. At the 10th anniversary of ZBrush Summit, the folks at ZBrush, now owned by Maxon, did make an announcement that ZBrush is finally coming to iPad. This is a welcome development as using ZBrush on iPad is definitely one way to go. Of course, we've seen some interesting tools come over to iPad and the ease of use just makes it worth it. Instead of sitting on the desk all day long, you can literally just stay on your bed, be on the transit, be on a train, or even fly into another country while blocking out and making the models as you proceed. Of course, Forger is an amazing app to work with, but then getting ZBrush on iPad would definitely change how we get to sculpt moving forward, especially if you have those tight deadlines where you have to deliver a sculpt or you're just creating things for fun. Now, this is not to say that tools like Nomad Sculpt doesn't exist or maybe will phase out, but the fact that ZBrush itself might be making it to iPad is quite exciting. Although currently there's no confirmation if Forger will still remain the app that it is or if Forger will automatically be converted to ZBrush Mobile but only time will tell once this is out. And for those who are thinking about testing this, and probably you want to get up to date with this, presently they are running a beta testing for those who like to apply and get on with it. So if you simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you right here, you'll be able to apply for ZBrush for iPad. Like every single time I get to see this, it just makes a lot of sense why we should be having ZBrush for iPad. If the experience of ZBrush for iPad would be the same with ZBrush for desktop is highly debatable, but having this on the iPad is just one way to go. So instead of carrying your drawing tablet and then your PC traveling around, you can just travel easily with your iPad and do your sculpting wherever you are. In terms of licensing and pricing, none of this has been discussed since this is currently in beta, but if we go by previous tools that exist, you can tell that Nomad is doing $14.99, which is approximately $15 for the iPad. Forger is currently set to be free, but then it has a few in-app purchases. And if you take a look at Scope Plus, which is primarily for Android devices, you can already tell that this also has some very interesting features. Maybe not as much as you would want to get because it looks more like a merge between what you have with Nomad and also Forger, but having Z tools and all these interesting VDM brushes embedded in it just makes it worth it. And I think that is one of the things that we might be getting that is totally different from what exists with Forger and also Nomad Sculpt. So hopefully we will be getting all of those interesting things that makes ZBrush ZBrush for iPad and anyone using iPad can definitely sculpt and have fun all the way. If this is going to be coming with some extra quality of life improvement just because it's going to be on mobile, we have no idea about that right now. But if you would like to follow up with this and probably get updated, then you can go over to the link in the description and fill this form and get informed with it. So this is it. I'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section. ZBrush for iPad is coming. I really wish there's an additional version coming for Android users. And on the other hand, I'm also wishing that they do produce a brand new product that is not Forger, which will now be renamed ZBrush. I mean, even if they have to rename Forger to ZBrush Mobile, all of the beautiful things that make ZBrush ZBrush, we would like to see them. Keeping our fingers crossed, hopefully we'll be getting a brand new tool 
that we use for sculpting and potentially that might be a freemium tool for everyone to play with. So this is it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace. Have at it. Now what? Now what? <laughs> now what? <laughs> Take a good long look. Take a good long look. Now you can do it anywhere, anytime, wherever you want.